ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एसोसिएटिव मेमोरी मैपिंग फॉर एसोसिएटिव मेमोरी मैपिंग विल अज्यूम द एग्जैक्ट सेम डेटा दैट वी हैव अज्यूम फॉर डायरेक्ट मैपिंग सपोज वी हैव मेन मेमोरी ऑफ साइज एम वर्ड्स द कैश मेमोरी of size c words and block size small b words a small p would be number of main memory blocks and uh, that would be m divided by b and small q is uh, number of cache memory block that would be c divided by b the address issued by processor would be log m bits long so consider that uh, this is the address which is issued by processor and the size is log n bits okay so first part from the left side would be offset the size of offset would be log b bits the second whole part is a tag yes in the set associative memory mapping technique and in a, in associative memory mapping technique the whole address is divided in only two part the one is a tag and other is offset there is uh, not any kind of index part uh, like direct addressing direct cache mapping so the size of tag bits would be log p if you have observed we don't need this quantity over here okay so if we don't have q it's okay still we can perform associative memory mapping so uh, this quantity q that is number of cache memory blocks are not required if you want to count how many bits you will need for Uh, set set associative cache mapping and um, uh, how many bits you need for offset and tag so uh, you don't need q for that okay so let's take an example so in this example we have main memory of 4 gb cache memory of 64 mb and block size is 16 bytes so uh, in this example we will find first of all small p that is number of main memory blocks and that would be 4 gb divided by 16 bytes both are bytes so will get cancel and 2 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 30 divided by 2 to the power 4 and that would be 2 to the power 28 number of main memory blocks so the address issued by processor which will be of 32 bits because uh, log 4g uh, that means uh, log 2 to the power 32 base 2 would be 32 bits So that's why this will be thirty-two bits long address. So uh, the offset will be of log sixteen bits long. That is four bits, and the remaining part, the remaining whole part, is a tag bit. Sorry, tag bits. 
uh, and that would be of 28 bits so again set associative memory mapping technique and direct memory mapping technique both divides the whole address into three parts whereas in case of associative memory mapping technique this uh, it's it divides the memory address into two parts only fine so that's how we perform associative memory mapping technique okay now let's compare direct mapping and associative mapping so here one address which is divided according to direct mapping rule and this one this address is divided according to associative mapping rule uh, here if you observe the offset in both the cases would be of same length so the offset would be always log b bits long uh, now the tag bit is long of associative mapping compared to direct mapping just because this uh, this tag bit of direct mapping and uh, cache block index bits both are added to form one tag part uh, that means the whole tag bit of associative mapping so if you observe the size of tag bits of uh, direct mapping address would be uh, log 2 to the log p by q to the base q and the size of cache block would be uh, log q so if we add we'll get log p by q dot q and that would be log p and that's the size of tag field in case of associative memory mapping so if you have already divided uh, your address according to direct mapping technique and for the same configuration if you have to divide that address space according to set associative or i'm sorry associative uh, mapping technique so you just have to combine tag bit and cache block index bit into one and that would be the whole tag bit set of associative memory mapping and the offset bit would remain intact uh, there will be no change in offset bits okay so that's all about associative memory mapping technique